Hey guys, welcome back to Broke Over Land. My name is Chad, and uh, why don't you just, you know, step into the bathroom with me. So you may remember in our last video where we had our frozen water lines, and we took our 6-inch cover plate off for our valves down there, and we stuck this fan on there to blow air, warm air from this heater into that space, and that thawed our lines out. So now what we need to do is set something up that we can actually control a little bit better. So what I've done is I bought this 24 volt fan, a um, 24 volt thermostat, and another little, just a screen guard for the fan. Um, so we need to drill a hole in this guy, mount our fan, wire up our connection to probably the back of this heater. We'll just tee off. I'll grab, I've got some uh, connectors we can tee off and uh, join in on that side, so. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. I have this taped off because it is still live, so. <laughs> Best to, you know, not, not short it out because I think I have 20 amp fuse in there. Won't make the 10 gauge wire turn into licorice, but it will piss it off quite a bit. I'll throw some ferrules on here. Okay, and oh, I need to heat shrink that on. There we go. Make that look pretty. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna fit. Okay. There we go. That's enough to melt the glue inside the heat shrink. Okay, now, now I gotta keep these two apart forevermore. Spin you around, let you see what we got going. You guys should have a good view because I can't see past you. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Now you're a little further out of my way. All right, so get the twist out of this guy. So we run our 10 gauge up into here, like so. <laughs> Too big. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Squish. Oh, good. Squish. Okay, good. All right. So now we need to put our zip tie holder, one right there probably one right here um, and then we can run our other line from here down to our fan and our temperature sensor so just making some minor adjustments adding adding some longer cables to the stupid thing because it's worthless and man that is just icky so we're having to drill out <laughs> the you know drill out the uh, I don't know if you can see it can't really see it right there. We got drilled that one out. So we added this wire and now we're gonna replace this wire and this, the one that broke. There we go. I got some longer leads on it. And those are ugly as sin, but oh well, acceptable. Better than the welds that were on it or solders. All right, this is gonna simulate this thing working. Okay, so 9.1, we're gonna put it on a piece of snow Watch that drop, should hit about five. 
and then the fan should kick on. There we go. Cool. This is all in Celsius. So if we warm it back up, once it hits 9.5 or some thereabouts, it should shut off. Sweet. Okay. There we go. Proof of concept works. And yes, I'm going to uh, mount this fan with these Wago connectors <laughs> so that when this fan dies, because I know it will, because it's a 24 volt freaking cheapo Amazonian Chinese fan, it's going to uh, die eventually. So anyway, let's uh, let's get this stuff mounted. Get our um, covers on there. Get this zip tied back down, and we'll be back. Okay. Well, we drilled a 57 millimeter hole through our cover plate, and we mounted our fan with a little grill. And now I'm just going to uh, stick it in there and throw those Wago connectors on there. Oh, and some of you were asking how these uh, panels come off. It's just magnet, pull, slide them off, good to go. And then you can get down in there and get to access everything underneath there. Got our uh, temperature probe, uh, it's, it's that black wire that's all goofy looking, it is jammed in between our water lines. So that should take care of it. Um, it's in pretty much the coldest area, which is underneath the shower pan up against the transmission cover. So and that way we can keep an eye on what our temperature is going on underneath there. So right now it's 8.7 degrees, 8.6 degrees Celsius. So we need to throw some, we need to start throwing some heat in there. Okay, we got her all finished. We can see it's uh, 6.8 degrees Celsius in that crawl space. So the fan is off. Um, I do have this heater up here that is the bathroom heater that's operated via a switch. I might actually tie into this so that it trips that heater up there as well, but it's just on a, on a, on a relay. So no big deal there, but the bathroom itself got her all set in there. So once this temperature drops in that little crawl space, that fan will turn on. We should be good to go. So just going to hang out and wait for the temperature to drop. <laughs> okay, so we've had the heat, heat off in the bathroom down to 2.7 degrees. Dungrees Fahrenheit, or actually Celsius. It's 20 degrees outside, so it's a little chilly in here. And our fan is chooching, so good. Well, and there we go. We got ourselves a fan system, and hopefully that works, because if it doesn't, I'm gonna have to put a little another heater on there. I do actually have um, some more of these, you know, automotive heaters, uh, little 24 volt heaters that I can add if that doesn't work, but I don't want to be pumping, you know, 500 watts of power into that tiny little crawl space. Cause I think that will probably, <laughs> I mean, it's only like five inches. So it'd probably start melting something. <laughs> Anyways, if you like this kind of content, you know, feel free to subscribe. There's a little subscribe button over here. And, uh, if you want to, you know, check out another one of our videos, we got one of those videos over here, but, uh, until next time, I want to say thanks for watching. And we'll catch you in the next one. Anyways, uh, if you want to subscribe, <laughs> too big. That's what she said. No, actually, she said, ow, ow, you're on my hair, but whatever.